Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about heat and temperature. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 8. This lesson is under the Matatag. the developing and deepening of understanding so let us understand first the differences between the heat and temperature so heat and temperature are related but distinct concepts heat is the transfer of thermal energy while temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of particles in a substance in this presentation we are going to explore the key differences and various modes of heat transfer the following are the concept of temperature. So for the definition, temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles or the atom or the molecules in a substance. The second one is the relationship to heat. So heat is the transfer of thermal energy from the hotter object to the colder object due to a temperature difference. And the third one is thermal equilibrium. So when two objects are are in contact they will eventually reach the same temperature a state known as thermal equilibrium the following are the scales and units of measuring the temperature. So the first one is the Celsius. So the Celsius scale is based on the freezing, which is 0 degrees Celsius, and the boiling, which is 100 degrees Celsius. Points of water at a standard atmospheric pressure. The second one is the Fahrenheit. So the Fahrenheit scale is based on the freezing, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the boiling, which is 200 12 degrees Fahrenheit points of water at standard atmospheric pressure the third one is the Kelvin so the Kelvin scale is an absolute temperature scale with the base unit of Kelvin and it is used in scientific applications 
The following are the heat transfer, the conduction, convection, and radiation. So, conduction, it is a heat transfer through direct contact between the particles in an object or solid materials. The second one is the convection. So, it is a heat transfer through the movement of fluids such as the air or water carrying the thermal energy. And the last one is the radiation. So, it is a heat transfer through electronic magnetic waves without need for physical medium. The following is the heat transfer through solid in conduction. So the first one is the vibration. So in solids, atoms vibrate about fixed position, transferring energy through direct contact. The second one is the heat flow. So heat flow from the hotter to the cooler end of the solid materials. And the last one is the insulation. So it is a material with low thermal conductivity like wood or plastic are effective insulators. The following are the heat transfer through fluids in convection. So the first one is the fluid motion. So convection involves the movement of fluids such as air or water carrying thermal energy. The second one is the temperature gradients. So warmer fluids rise while the cooler fluid sinks, creating circular convection currents. And the third one is natural and force. So natural convection is driven by temperature temperature differences while forced convection uses external means like fans. The following are the heat transfer through electromagnetic waves. So radiation transfer heat through the emission and absorption of electromagnetic waves without the need for a medium. So infrared radiation is a type of electromagnetic wave that we experience as heat such as from the sun or the campfire. The third one is the absorption and emission. So darker, rougher surfaces are better at absorbing and emitting radiant heat while the lighter, smoother surfaces tend to reflect it. The following are the specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity. So the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance by 1 degree varies for different materials. And the ability of the material to conduct heat, higher thermal conductivity means faster heat transfer. And when it comes to the application, these properties are important in designing efficient heating and cooling system as well as insulation materials. The following are the thermal expansion and its application. So when we talk about expansion, when heated materials expand as their particles gain kinetic energy and move farther apart. The second one is contraction. So when cold, materials contract as their particles lose kinetic energy and move closer together. When it comes to the application, thermal expansion is used in bimetallic strips, thermostats, and the designs of bridges and railways. The following are the everyday examples of heat and temperature. So the first one is cooking. So heat is used to cook and prepare food as in ovens, stoves, and grills. The second one is heating system. So heating systems use heat transfer to warm homes and buildings. Another one is the temperature measurement. So thermometers are used to measure temperature in various contexts. And the last one is cooling and refrigeration. So refrigerators and air conditioners use heat transfer to cool and maintain low temperatures.